conditions apply. Product may not appear as advertised. Small fee will be applied to your purchase. Small fee will be applied to your purchase. America runs on Bulliver time. 1941. Bulova Watches released the first broadcasted television advertisement. This date represents the start of modern advertising. It's a common saying that any publicity is good publicity, but this also comes with its side effects, and the results can be terrible. I'm a guy who likes to work on my car. I like to take it apart and put it back together. Take this advert by Marlboro Cigarettes. In 1955, Marlboro reported a 3,000% increase in sales from the previous year. This was all thanks to their incredibly successful marketing campaign featuring the Marlboro Man. This is a man who smokes Marlboro cigarettes. What kind of a man is he? It depicted an easygoing cowboy savouring his Marlboro cigarette as he enjoyed his perfect masculine life. It was one of the first advertisements to create an image of what people wanted to be, instead of simply listing the benefits of the product. For men in the 50s and 60s, it proposed a perfect lifestyle where you could work and enjoy yourself and the key to getting there was a Marlboro cigarette. Would you recommend Marlboro to your friends? I already have. New Marlboro! Of course, this was a false promise. It failed to mention that smoking cigarettes proposed a huge health risk to its customers. Five actors who appeared as Marlboro men died due to lung cancer. And due to its popularity, who knows how many consumers suffered the effects as well. There's one person nobody can resist, and that's a baby. So love made baby soft. We all know the saying, sex sells. And it does. With little guidelines in the 70s, agencies use this to their advantage. Sexual content provides immediate attention and publicity. It seems so much longer than last year. It is. Nearly four inches longer in some models. Oh. One of them being the infamous Baby Soft advert, released in 1975 with the tagline, Innocence is sexier than you think. So innocent it may well be the sexiest fragrance around. Loves Baby Soft, because innocence is sexier than you think. Whilst being downright creepy, this particular advert and many others like it, held back women and their journey to equality for many years. The era obtained a lingering shadow of sexism, paedophilia, and body dysmorphia, something that can sadly still be seen today. I've got a question for you. What sounds better than Coca-Cola? New Coca-Cola. Introducing the greatest taste discovery in a hundred years. Introducing the new taste of Coca-Cola. Except that wasn't the case for the soft drink company. 1985 saw Coca-Cola make up just 24% of the cola market, with mainstream rival Pepsi increasing sales rapidly. What Coca-Cola did next to combat this remains a grim reminder to many companies and advertising agencies to not mess with tradition. They proceeded to replace their original formula with a newer recipe, one to challenge Pepsi. This was New Coke. The great new taste of Coke. Watch for it, try it, and enjoy the best tasting Coke ever. This decision was met with immediate backlash. A psychiatrist whom Coke had hired to listen in on customer service calls told executives that some people sounded as if they were discussing the death of a family member. People were so outraged, in fact, that an organization was formed called the Old Cola Drinkers of America. As sales decreased and Pepsi continued to prosper, Coca-Cola caved in and reintroduced the old formula, just 79 days after it was retired. The creation and expansion of the internet has placed advertising in the hands of many more people than before some significantly less qualified than others. With that, those affected has dramatically increased. In 2017, Pepsi thought it'd be a good idea to present itself as the drink to have when you are rioting and protesting against injustices. Obviously, this was called tone deaf and insensitive. 
In 2021, Burger King shared a seemingly unusual tweet. However, if you dive deeper into the thread, you'll find it explains itself in a much better way. But of course, people only had to see the topmost tweet to form an opinion. And we finish on this campaign by Bud Light in 2023. They feature Dylan Mulvaney, a transgender influencer on their cans as an attempt to change the atmosphere around their brand. This month I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood. This caused outrage among Bud Light's largely male demographic. They branded it woke and boycotted for drink. This move was considered out of touch with their audience by both sides and heavily criticized for enticing conflict in the form of outrage media. Outrage media seems to be on the rise, particularly on social media. If the industry carries on this way, we could be at each other's throats for just the smallest bit of publicity. It's dangerous and needs to be studied further. Thank you.